It's perfect out today. Can you hear us? This is more of what we're familiar with. Our pilot loves planes. <laughs> We've been promoted? Yeah, yeah. more leg room. More leg room for Tommy. Good morning. We just did our whirlwind pack of all of the suitcases and backpacks into its new setting. We're gonna buy a new small suitcase from Primark, but we sorted this whole thing out. He went to run. It's 10.36 and we need to check out at 12.30. So we did a pretty good job. My eyes are just like stuck together from the um, like makeup and stuff. I did wash it all off, but that's usually what, that's just what happens usually. My eyes just get like puffy after I wear makeup, which is also why I don't wear makeup a ton. This is goodbye to Croatia pretty soon. It's perfect out today. And of course we're leaving for the airport in like three hours. <laughs> oh, the sun is so nice. I sink into this bed like perfectly. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just like. I was like, spot. <laughs> exactly. That's so funny. I didn't even notice I was pointing at anything, but you were like tracking like my hand. <laughs> Like here, nothing. Is this the whisper chamber thing? I'm, I'm really talking, I'm I can't really hear, but then here. Yeah, and here it's like super basic, which is pretty cool. And if we both stand, we can shatter everyone's eardrums. Really close to one another, and we can just. <laughs> I can hear yours, yeah. Yeah, I can hear yours too. Yeah. Oh man, that's a cool one. Mm -hmm. Thank you for welcome. making sure I got to this one. I literally walked over this and heard it and suddenly looked around. I was like, that was loud. Mm -hmm. going through while it's worker. Back in the main chamber space. Thinking about our Everything in there is now like, if it was ever my face, I was like, <laughs> that's much better. Camera resolved. Okay, much better. Now I actually have like an angle on everything. Very juicy. Their fries are like little spooks. Oh, there we go. There's this tiny little kitchen that they cook all the food in. Every restaurant here along the like path has 
the like chef cooking areas up top, like behind it, it's wild. I struggled so much trying to figure out how to flush this, but there are these two little divots. Also, this is built like right into the stone of the old town because it literally is like the wall right here is the wall to the palace area probably. That's crazy. Okay. Time to go back into the cold. What if I lock myself in the bathroom in it? Hi, thank you. Thank you so yes, this is the whole wall area that I was just talking about. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. And we got to eat in front of it. What? Like it was... One, it's like one more time what? Oh. The running joke of the weekend, of course. What do you mean? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Off to Germany! Beautiful day! Amazing! Big mountain. Yeah. This is more of what we're familiar with. Can you hold this? Hold please. Got it. I have two passports now. I win. See, look at how big my face looks in this, right? Okay. But like, maybe that's normal. I don't know, something with the zoom, man, something. She was so cute. Bye bye. Bye split. I said bye split. Well, I miss you. You were nice. You were like me. I come back. <laughs> we'll come to the Barbie yes. hotel. <laughs> Goodbye, Germany. <laughs> we did have some food. Quite good. You downed that. Yeah, nice. Pretty tasty. Didn't get any bratwurst, but that's okay. That would have been like the like three foot long hot dog thing. Not that big, but it was it was significant. <laughs> it was it was like thick. I have pictures, but yes, it's significant. Like not fitting in a hot dog bun, like at least this long. Just like whoop. first class. We did it, honey. Let's go. Woo! Let's go, baby. Oh, it is cold in Germany. Oh. This is beautiful in your aircraft. We will take you safely to London now for the time being. I hope you feel very comfortable on board with us. Our pilot loves planes. <laughs> the new one, the horsepower, the miles per hour. Horsepower? I've never heard of pilot. Talk about that. <laughs> We've been promoted? Yeah. yeah. More leg room. More leg room for Tommy. But we are now in the famous um, emergency exit row. I'm always buckled up the whole time on planes, and I will continue to be buckled up the entire time on planes. Welcome to London Heathrow Airport, dear guests. We are where? Jolly old England indeed. I was like walking really like briskly in Frankfurt and you were behind and that never happens. That's never the order of things. So mind you, our luggage was not on the carousel that we were told it was going to be on, but it showed up within like two minutes of us arriving to baggage claim versus the like 50 minutes we waited last time. So this is already shaping up super great. It's later than it was last time. So it's yeah, 1030 and I don't know what time dinner closes. I don't know what we got at the hotel, but it's gonna take us over an hour to get to the hotel and I'll be very hungry. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to getting to the hotel, but I'm also like one hour on transit, exhausted. So yeah, but yay, we're back in London. Also, a story I forgot to tell from earlier today, the bride and the groom 
were at the airport with us. You saw footage of that. I maybe did a voiceover, but I, if I didn't, here's an explanation. Their flight left four hours early and they were never notified that there was a change in their departure time. So basically they had no idea and they arrived at the airport three hours early and, or even like four hours early. And then they were told their flight departed 10 minutes ago. So they went on a different route, all of that. But while we were in line with them, because they were getting everything sorted out, we uh, had an overweight luggage and we knew it was overweight. So we were like, oh, right, we're going to have to change it. And she looked at us and she's like, just be careful next time. And we were like, oh, we will be super, super duper, duper, duper careful. So they let us check a slightly overweight luggage. So love that for us. It wasn't by a lot. So I think they were just, you know, not being sticklers about it. But it was a really good way to start the travel day. Um, and yeah, all right, we're headed to, oh, heading to the train now. You just click on the, the one for the hotel and then the website will probably prompt you with like an email. On my toe. Oh, oh this is small. Yeah, oh, no sleep divorce, but no space. Oh, thought it was bigger. Oh well. Constantly being surprised by the rooms in Europe. Hmm? I would say one for four on hotels. One. We spent the least time at Yeah. The poor Marvy Hotel is the best. We're up on like a pedestal. Okay. Yeah. It's a decent size. <laughs> 